Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add World Edit to your Minecraft server. World Edit can be a really, really useful tool for building, so if you are interested in doing that, I highly recommend that you install World Edit. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to install World Edit as a plugin. This plugin can only be used for paper, spigot, and also bucket. This can also be installed as a mod, which I will show in just a minute. I've also left a link with a list of commands that you can use in the description below. So if you are looking for some commands, go ahead and look at that. So if you simply do just type world edit into Google, you can see world edit for bucket right here. World edit for bucket will work for bucket, spigot, and also paper. And you just want to click download latest file. If it does ask you this, just click keep. And then we can go back to Pebblehost. All right, so now back on Pebblehost, and we want to go to the left and click on File Manager. Once we are in File Manager, we want to go to the Plugins folder. And then you want to click Upload, File, and then the World Edit Bucket. It will then upload the file, and there we go. Then you want to go ahead and click Back, and then Restart the Server. Alright, so the server is now restarted, and I'm now going to show you that World Edit has successfully installed. Alright, so now if we go to our server, you can see if I left click on this block, it does say first position set, and of course if I right click, it says second position set. We'll just go ahead and do a simple command, and there we go, you can see the World Edit is fully working. Also, instead of having to go into the crafting inventory, or making an axe yourself, you can simply just do slash slash wand. And there you go. You have now been given a wooden axe. And in chat it does say how to set your left positions. So left click is position 1 and right click is position 2. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to install world edit for forge. This also will work the same for fabric. So once again, you want to go on Google and search world edit. But for this one, you want to go to the curse forge page. It should take you to a website that looks like this. Then you want to download the version that you are on. If your version is not listed in these files, then you can scroll up and go to files here. And then you can see there is a lot more files for a lot more versions. But we do just want 1.17.1. So we're going to download this one right here. As you can see, our new world edit is downloaded. We can then go back to Pebblehost, back to file manager, to the mods folder instead of the plugins folder click upload click file and then upload the world edit mod it will start uploading and then there we go and now once again we can simply just restart the server okay so the server is now back up now of course you do have to make sure that you do actually have forge 1.17.1 installed to your client if you do not have that we do have a video showing you how to do it you must also now put it in your own mods folder. If you don't know how to get to that, just click the Windows icon. You need to put in percent app data percent. And it'll take you to a folder just like this one. You then want to go to .minecraft and then go to the mods folder. You can then simply just drag in the world edit mod. Alright, so now we can go ahead and launch our Minecraft. Okay, so Minecraft has now loaded. We can then go to multiplayer and join our server. Okay, so we are now in our server. So once again, if we grab a wooden axe, you can also get a wooden axe simply by doing slash slash wand. We can go ahead and show it. There we go. First position has been set, and the second one has also been set. You can then do a simple command to show it, just like this. Set air. And there you go. It has set this amount of blocks to air. So it's just like a normal mod install or a normal plugin install. It's really, really simple to do and it's really, really helpful. If you're on a plan to do any sort of building, I highly, highly recommend downloading this as it will help out so much. As I said earlier, the Forge version will also work the exact same for Fabric. And if you don't have Fabric, we do also have a Fabric install video, which I'll also leave in the description. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, Definitely leave a like and also subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time.